Now, cattle in the middle of a conflict, an unusual property dispute in Southern Hillsborough County left a farmer's access to feed his own cattle cut off and a retired firefighter's access to his home blocked. Yeah, this controversy centers around a legal right-of-way easement. Now, the easement is the only way three different property owners can access their land. When access was abruptly blocked by a neighbor and no one else would help, they knew they had better call Bankin. Stacey Keith, when these three property owners bought their land in 2017, their deeds included this decades-old right-of-way easement. They've been using it with no problems until now, when suddenly a neighbor took a drastic step that they never saw coming. It's awful. This mooing makes farmer Scott Nismith sick to his stomach. His cows and multiple calves are hungry. That's all I'm thinking about is, where's my hay? The only path to get a truckload of hay in is blocked. This is the easement that we're this on now. This is the easement. This is how I get to my property. You can see, they, you see their bones. They're not getting what they should get. It's just, it, he's made it impossible for us to feed our cows. The he he's talking about is Ricky Goodson of Goodson Farms. Ricky owns the adjacent land. This easement runs through the property and continues to Scott's 20-acre farm and two other properties. All three owners bought their land in 2017, and these deeds show that the easement through the Goodson Farm was included in each purchase. Everything was fine until months ago when, without warning, Goodson put up these no trespassing signs on the easement the property owners share. And then this equipment to block access to their properties. What is this hunk of junk here? Well, this, this looks to be a, a, a land plane. Doug Barnes and his wife can't drive to their dream house they recently built. It's, it's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, it, do bullies rule the day? I mean, this guy is just doing this because he can. Doug tells me at first he was able to scoot the barrier over just enough to get his truck through. Then Goodson added this water container, making it impossible to pass. It's a barbed wire all the way across to here. To get around so this, I Doug says he and his I wife were forced to crawl through this barbed there, wire on the back side you know, of his yeah, property and walk home through a field. This was called a cowboy gate. For now, so a neighbor is, is you, allowing the use know, of this makeshift gate of from their property, but it's only and temporary. Just picture my wife doing this to go get groceries, pick up the kids, the grandkids. Back at Scott's land. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, babies. I'll get you as soon as I can. Would you have bought this property without no. an easement? No, not at all. It was part of the price that I paid for the property. And have you tried to reason with him? Have you... We have. Yeah. We've contacted him. He said uh, to get a helicopter. That was his answer. That sounded ridiculous. So I called Ricky Goodson myself. And oh yes, that is his official statement. Okay, so you're saying his only access is Cody Road or to fly in. He did have one more idea. Or drill a tunnel. Okay. Okay. Goodson insisted that the property owner's deeds are all wrong and that they are supposed to access their properties through this nearby road that's clearly marked as a private road. He asked for proof that Cody Road is indeed private, so I texted him this email from the county property appraiser's office confirming the private road. Goodson's response? He sent me this picture of a dog. So I went to work to get to the bottom of this. I pushed and the county looked it over for several days and code enforcement decided the families do have a legal access to the easement. They cited Goodson and instructed him to remove the barricade. But to Scott, that can't come soon enough. I'm hoping that they're going to take some action soon because before they know. Before my cows die. Before your cows die, absolutely. That'd be good. I'm too old to haul, I can't walk hay down here. I continued to pursue accountability, and finally, county officials agreed to take a closer look. Ricky Goodson was cited for a code violation and instructed to remove the barrier. And now the obstruction has been moved over, and the property owners can get by for now, but this fight isn't over. And code enforcement reports that Goodson still maintains that he is in the right here, and he plans to fence off the land. Even though he's already been uh, through code enforcement and, and penalized for that, what, what are the consequences when it comes to code enforcement? Well, it's a good question. Goodson is scheduled to appear before the code board next Friday. It's worth noting that the no trespassing signs remain in the middle of the easement. Meanwhile, one of the farmers is suing Goodson in circuit court. So this is going to continue. Yeah, they say good fences make good neighbors, but in this case, I'm not so sure. I mean, yes. but these people need access. Yes. All right, we'll see how this turns out. Be interesting to watch. I know you'll stay up. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bank at the telephone number 1855 Bankin, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.